Hi, Blast Pop here. Today we're looking at the games of C3I Magazine, issue number 32. Frederick Bay's Battle of Isi, uh, 1815, part of the Jour de Glory series, uh, which encompasses upwards of 45 battles, so I'm told. Additionally, you've got Mark Herman's uh, Gettysburg game. And then finally, uh, you have a taster version or a light version of Table Battles, a game series by Holland Spiel, um, and is included here. Um, so there's quite a bit of gaming in this package. I'm not here to examine the magazine itself. Suffice it to say, it's very nicely done. The first game is Gettysburg by Mark Herman. And the rule book weighs in at a mere, including summaries and, 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 and setups and a, a very um, easy to read, large font size of about uh, eight pages. So you can see it's very easily looked at, read, and consumed. Um, the scale is basically core, which means there's very few pieces on the board at any time. And there's a few divisions where those are essentially cavalry. And it shows you on an entire page of the, the setup at the game start. Additionally, you get a player aid summary. Your sequence of play, how your battles are completed, your terrain, and on the back is a player aid for another game. Um, so, very nicely done. Your map for Gettysburg. Eleven by seventeen. The only quibble. I have, and it's just a personal taste on this map, is is that there's a lot of browns, and I guess it's probably to capture the sepia period feel, but it looks kind of autumnish to me, and so it 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 I would think to me a, a green color would be nicer, but I understand the uh, what they're attempting here. The uh, game has received a lot of high ranking, and a lot of people like it quite a bit, and it's spurring on another series, uh, including uh, a series of Civil War games, and I understand that Mark Herman has been working on a uh, Waterloo game using this same system. You get one sheet of counters in the package, which includes the counters for this game, Gettysburg, as you can see. It's uh, only about 20 counters, 16, 20 counters in total. So very few counters. And it also includes markers. On the back side. And then the counters themselves, they're a thicker brown core. So they should do just, just fine. The second game, the Battle of Isi. The rules are uh, standard rules, and uh, it's a more complex, more intricate game with melee and firepower, and um, it runs about 16 pages. The print and font is a little smaller. Not a difficult game to digest either. And then you have your special rules. And then you have your setups. Interesting, there's two one-day scenarios, but I've been unable to, to see if there's actually a, a um, two-day scenario. Um, this includes the 2nd and 3rd of July. Um, maybe you continue on, but I didn't see anything about it. So, uh, unless it just doesn't work as a, as a two-day game, I don't know. And then some ad copy. For the Battle of EC, you have charts, 
please pause if there's anything you like to look at a little longer. And then your terrain effects chart for the terrain. If I'm not mistaken, this is for the entire series, so there might be terrain on this that doesn't appear on this particular game map. Additionally, you have your your map here, it's another 11 by 17 inch map, uh, focusing on the 1850, 1815 essential capture of Paris after Waterloo. Very nicely done. And the counters for that, there's several more counters for this. you got the Prussians and the French. And essentially they're regiments. And on the back side, your reduced side. Okay. Finally, you have Tom Russell's Holland Spiel game system table battles. Includes two battles with a total of nine cards in this card stock rules explanation. Uh, apparently this is a somewhat abbreviated version of, of the rules. And uh, you've got the cards, which are the kind of punch-out cards, you have a Civil War battle, and I believe you have a 30 Years War battle. Um, the specifics of it are the actual battles information are included towards the back of the charts here. I mean the rules book. I mean the uh, C3I magazine. The Battle of Gaines Mill and the Battle of Bovines. And then you have uh, the specific rules for Gaines Mill and Bovines, which you can photocopy and put in a card sleeve. Because of the published game, this information is actually on cards. So what they've done to increase the utility is they've printed on both sides. One battle on one side and the other battle on the other. And there's one card on this second sheet. And the rest are <clears throat> examples of uh, Roger McGowan's artwork over the years. So those are the games of C3I Magazine number 32. Please comment, like, and subscribe. This has been Blast Pop. Bye.